It's always fun to talk about tactics, isn't it? Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And I was thinking about this recently. Uh, what are the most important drills uh, for you to start on to work with your, your team, your friends, your compatriots, your comrades, whatever word you want to use? What are those? And for me, it always boils down to two different drills for two different reasons. Uh, the first one that I think is really important to work on or know with your team is assault throughs. Um, just for the record and, and in Minecraft purposes and all that stuff, uh, we're talking about doing these dry, okay? Or, and or don't ever do these ever, uh, only for entertainment purposes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the first one is an assault through, uh, an assault through. Now, uh, why an assault through? Why do I think that's important to practice dry, uh, first, a lot dry, uh, before, before anything else. Um, the reason I think assault through is important, and I'm sure someone's gonna get mad about this, uh, is it's the most complicated one. And if you can do a, uh, an assault through drill, um, well then everything else is a cakewalk, right? Now, the immediate answer is, well hold on, that's semi, if you don't know what an assault through is, by the way, uh, there are other videos in this channel that you can go watch. I think I cover it in my Minuteman Tactics series. You can also buy my book, uh, Minuteman 201. You can look at that. You can buy any probably small unit tactics book and it should talk about an assault through. And if it doesn't, it's not a very good small unit tactics book. Um, so the assault through, right? I like starting with the assault through dry uh, because there's a lot of different moving pieces on an assault through, right? And I'm saying like one team's gonna flank through, the other one's gonna assault through. There's a bunch of after action things you need to do as far as checking yourself, topping off your gun, right? Now you need to go back into the kill zone. Like there's a bunch of stuff to do. And when you run that dry uh, multiple times, and when I say multiple, I mean like double digits, 10, 20 times in a row dry, um, and you start working that in, if your team can do that pretty smooth, um, everything else becomes a cakewalk. And so th that's one of the reasons I really, really like to do an assault through. Now look, in reality, China invades, you know, Red Dawn happens, et cetera, et cetera. Are you, as an everyday American Minute Man, gonna be running assault throughs? Uh, maybe, probably not, let's be honest. I mean, I, I don't know, you know. But one, it's always good to have in your back pocket. Two, if you, again, if you can master that, you will be able to master everything else easily. And so that's why I like, personally, starting on the assault through, dry, um, because, dry, no live rounds, uh, because if you can do that well, then again, everything else is gonna be much, much easier. And, and I have practical experience with this where I you know, have a team, we train with some boys, we've done the assault through a gazillion times, and then we were switching thing, uh, some things up and we were gonna go do this um, ambush style mission on some paper targets. We slayed those targets, by the way. And let me tell you, it went so easy. We hadn't really practiced that a ton before, but it went so easy. And the part of the reason that it went so easy is we had done the complicated stuff first. So to do something a little bit less complicated was a cakewalk, right? We'd already worked out the communication difficulties and, and the procedures and the steps and all, all the stuff first on a much harder concept and much harder, much more uh, should we say intricate battle drill, right? And then when we stepped it down to do something else, a little more practical maybe, um, it was a cakewalk. It was a cakewalk, right? And when I say cakewalk, what I mean is the, the inter-team dynamics of making that drill function, right? That was a cakewalk. So, for that reason, I would highly, highly recommend to you the assault through. Again, if you're like, oh, well, how do I do that? I have a book on that, you can read it, it's a lot of fun, um, you'll enjoy it. Uh, so the second drill, that I, or battle drill thing, that I think is very important is for practical purposes, and that's fire and maneuver. Um, a fire and maneuver, real simple, right? One team is shooting, one team is moving. Uh, super simple, you can do a lot with that. If you have a team of guys, let's say four guys, six guys, whatever, and you can do fire maneuver, you can effectively deconflict and communicate through one team is set and shooting, the other team is moving, man, that opens up the whole world. Like that, that is the core of all small unit tactics, right? And has been for the last 100 plus years. Uh, one team is, is static and shooting and the other team is maneuvering, right? Either that's going out on a flank, maybe that's just straight up advancing, 
maybe that's retreating, uh, maybe that's circling around to wherever, right? It, it doesn't really matter. You can do anything you want with that if you can effectively deconflict with one team moving, one team shooting, okay? So uh, that, that, those, those are the two things that I like to practice a lot with my team. And I, what I would tell you to practice a lot with your team, right? Because again, if, if you can master those two, everything else becomes either easy and or accessible to you. And then if you want to switch it up, you're like, well, let's, let's, let's practice an ambush drill or let's practice a raid drill or let's practice whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be easy and accessible to you because you've mastered deconflicting uh, communication while shooting and moving, right? And you've mastered a intricate uh, battle drill that requires lots of steps and thought and purpose and direction, right? And, and so you, you've solved some of the, the, the hardest and the most practical problems, and so it opens up all the other battle drills to you. So that's just my two cents. You might totally disagree and think that's stupid and crazy. Would love to hear more about it. But what, uh, where do you like to start with your team, or where do you like to start with new people? Because those are the two go-tos that I usually, usually start with. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.